playing the parents of a 16-year-old who's also a doctor, well, it isn't easy. In the new series, Doogie Kamiloa, MD, Jason Scott and Kathleen Rose Perkins have to help their TV daughter find balance. Before the series premieres this month, we got a chance to talk to them about juggling surgery and shave ice in Hawaii. Okay, first, Jason, can you do lays and shave ice? Are you that good? Are you that talented? I, I'm, I'm as brilliant as my daughter in the show. <laughs> this is such an, a different kind of a role for you. It's so laid back because I always see you as very intense. What's that like for you? You know, it, it, it's a breath of fresh air. It's actually really fun. You know, the, it, this, the preparation was, was a little cheating in my way because, it, it, you know, it was kind of like, wow, I get to like be an island guy, you know, like <laughs> laid back and all this kind of thing. I'm good. Yeah, chilling right. out. And, you know, whereas I'm used to preparing like months ahead of time and just physically like getting like into that, you know, that rawness and like, it's just kind of nice. It's, it's just, it's fun. And, and, you know, the lightness of the material and, and the, the, the show itself and the feeling of a, it being a family show. I think all of those things factor in for making it a, you know, easy, a nice, nice, fun ride. It's still, still a lot of hard work, but, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. And Kathleen, you have the whole entire opposite. You've got to know all that medical <laughs> jargon. You've got to be in charge. You've got to be. What's that like? Uh, it was a, it was exhausting. I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I slept a lot <laughs> uh, when I could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of jargon, and it was hard for me to learn that stuff. But uh, luckily, I didn't have a, as much as um, Peyton, who plays Doogie. She had chunks and ch chunks and monologues worth of, of medical jargon. That's just hard stuff to remember. <laughs> How is it for both of you to play parents? Is that, especially if somebody this old and this smart? <laughs> it was weird to me because I'm I, I'm not a parent, so it was really it's always kind of weird to put that. I feel like a bit of an imposter. <laughs> I, I'm just the goofy aunt in real life, so um, <laughs> it, yeah, it, it's hard to be the, the the mother who's you know kind of teaching lessons and and being disciplinary and yeah. But Jason, you you were fine. <laughs> well, well, because I. I you know, I think my character of Benny doesn't approach things in a highly intellectual way. It's sort of a, a grounded kind of nature based kind of like, you know, uh, breathe deep and, and, and understand that everything will be OK. You know, it's all good. If, if you have any issues, just go take a swim in the ocean and you'll be good. You know, and, and so there's that lightness of being, I think, that that kind of creates his, his aura and, and, you know, being able to make people happy by giving them a snow cone shave ice kind of thing and, you know, a flower lay or you know, something colorful and uh, happy. And, um, you know, I think that that supports the whole stressful hospital factor. <laughs> he is very much a hang loose kind of guy. And that kind of, that's, that's Hawaii as far as I know it, but maybe yeah. that's just a tourist. But Jason, over the years, have the Asian roles changed much? I mean, to me, this seems like a real big change because it's a role that easily would have been cast in a different direction. Oh, it's, it's hugely. And, and, and it's very, it's very um, specific in, in many ways, because, you know, you don't have, you would never have, you'd have an Asian guy, but he was either from a particular Asian country or he was either Asian American. Um, and, and this kind of mixes it up, you know, it makes him kind of a, a Creole mix of kind of some kind of thing that, that has actually real bearing in, 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 in the Hawaiian islands. It's a real thing, the aloha spirit and people want to share respect for one another and this kind of like uh, um, feeling of like hang loose. It's a real thing. And, um, and that's very distinctive for Hawaii. And, uh, you know, it's like, I, I, I have a lot of Asian American friends who have a different perspective. And I grew up in Hawaii and um, they have this thing about having to compete with, with the white culture or having to compete with the Caucasian culture. I have to be as good as them. Whereas when we grew up in Hawaii, we never had that, that feeling about it. It's just like, oh, well, he saw he's good at that. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. You know, good for yeah. him. You know, it's like, it's like, <laughs> Do you two think that this is going to crack it open more for, uh, you know, where you'll take a traditional kind of sitcom format and then go out, uh, 
outside the box in terms of casting and, and creating characters? I think it's already begun and I think it's only going to get better. I mean, I remember when I started acting there, I, sometimes I wouldn't go on an audition for like eight months, sometimes a year, I wouldn't have anything. And that, that, that was indicative of, of the time, you know, it's like an Asian American who could not get work in the media as, as an actor or anything. Well, Hey, you're on a hit now. So Go. Keep right, keep riding the wave. Okay? <laughs> Ride the wave and make me shave ice. I want to shave ice. Okay, you got it, man. <laughs> Thank you so much.